Hello and welcome, Bill Sklodowski here with another edition of iPhone Friday. Every Friday we've been uh, working our way through the alphabet. This week we're up to F, and uh, this week we're going to talk FaceTime. Uh, the funny thing is, I was just visiting with a former student of mine in the adult education classes I teach, and uh, he and I were chatting and we were talking about FaceTime, and he said, aren't you up to the Fs? Wouldn't that be great for your iPhone Friday video? And I said, why, yes, yes, it would. Because <laughs> I really, I had some other idea about an F item, and it was not as cool or fun as FaceTime. So thank you, and, uh, you know, we'll dig into that. So the reason we got into the whole conversation about FaceTime is this, because he had uh, has two iPads. And some iPads you can use to make a regular phone call because they have, well, to get technical on you, they have that little SIM card chip in them, which makes it just like a big fat telephone uh, that uses the cell phone network. Some do not. But no matter what, your uh, iPad is still going to be on Wi-Fi, right? Because that's how you get the internet in your home or apartment. Or if you can still get into a restaurant or coffee shop these days, you can still use the uh, internet and the Wi-Fi that way. So all iPads have Wi-Fi, and because of that, all iPads can use FaceTime to make it either an audio or a video call. Audio, obviously, just like a telephone, you know, talking to somebody, and video, just like this, with picture and sound, so there you go. So let's dig in and talk about how to do that. Some of the things I'm going to be able to show you on the phone, and some of them because it involves, like, making a call while we're doing the it's just not going to work, so I have some still pictures that will show you a little bit better about that. But first and foremost, to make a FaceTime call, you have to make sure it's enabled on the device. So I'm actually going to show you, of course, with my phone, but just know that your settings on your uh, iPad are going to be exactly the same. Now on the iPad, of course, because of the bigger screen, you know, some things it has a column of items on one side and then it shows it, you know, uh, open on the other. Whereas on an iPhone, it all opens up on the same screen. You know what I'm talking about. So let's uh, dig into that. So uh, on your iPhone, right, and now this is um, a screen capture, just a picture of uh, uh, one I got on the Internet from the Apple website, I think, that you could, because it's Jane Appleseed, right? It's an Apple phone, Apple, never mind. The important thing to know is that when you're in or on your device, you have to have FaceTime actually turned on. I believe it's turned on by default, but if you haven't done it yet, you might want to go in and check. And it's just under settings, just like everything else. So if you go to settings and then FaceTime has its own um, listing in settings, you'll get to here. And it's got to be, the first thing first is it has to be toggled on, right, with the green button there. And then underneath that are all the ways, and you can see if you can read that uh, close, it says you can be reached by FaceTime at, and it lists both phone numbers and email addresses. Now, if you're on an iPad that doesn't have the capability of making a phone call, obviously you're not going to have a phone number there because that's for incoming FaceTime calls, right? So if you, you know, have an iPad that doesn't have the capability of phone calls, again, you're not going to have a phone number on there. Don't expect to see one. But you could have email addresses. You could, I mean, you should have an email address. At least your iCloud address, which you can see old Jane Appleseed here. She has, you know, jappleseed at iCloud.com. Because as we've talked about in the past, every Apple device ha comes with an email address, an iCloud address. So you always have that. But you're... Apple ID doesn't have to be an iCloud address. We've also talked about this in the past. So you could see any email address there. And you could see multiple email addresses there. It just, uh, just as long as you have something there, you're good to go, I guess is the bottom line there. All right, so with that in mind, let's jump over to the next screen and we'll talk about how you actually reach out and communicate with somebody using FaceTime. And here's old Jane's contact card again. If you go into your contacts on your phone, right, and you have created a contact, so maybe Jane's a friend of mine, all right, and uh, I have her phone number, and I hope that's not a real phone number, don't call. <laughs> I'm assuming because Apple put it out, it's probably Apple World Headquarters or something, I don't know. But anyway, you could have a phone number, you could have an email address down there, you could have multiple email addresses. Here's the important thing to look for. 
and that's the blue dots right under the name there. See where it says message, message, call, FaceTime, and mail, right? If the person that you have in your contacts also has an Apple device, an iPad, an iPhone, an iWatch, right? You're gonna be able to make a FaceTime call with them. I hear your question, and the answer is yes. Does the other person that you are calling have to have an Apple phone or iPad or you know iPhone, iPad, iWatch or whatever to make a FaceTime call to them? And the answer is yes, you do. Now, does that mean you can't do this sort of a thing with other people who maybe have Android or some other device? Yes, you can. You just can't use the FaceTime app. You can use Facebook Messenger. You could use Skype. You can use a whole host of other apps that are out there. But for those of us in the Apple ecosystem, FaceTime comes baked right into the phone or the iPad. And if your friend that you're calling has a, uh, an iPhone or an iPad, then this is going to show up. And by the way, if your friend doesn't have an iPhone or an iPad, are they really your friend? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry about that, friends who don't have iPhones and iPads. But anyway. To do it, to start it, all you need to do at this point, by the way, if you're in contacts, is just tap on that FaceTime button, okay? Tap on FaceTime. If you tap on call, it'll make a phone call. If you tap on message, it'll start a text message. If you tap on mail, it'll send them an email, or at least it'll start the process of creating one. Same thing with FaceTime. If you tap on FaceTime, it will start the process of making a FaceTime call to that person. And then it's going to look like this. It's going to look just like a regular additional call. Let me jump ahead and show you. I've got my slides out of order. This is the next one you're going to get, okay? That it's going to show the call that you're going to make. And you have the choice. You can see down there, you can see, you have the choice of it being either an audio FaceTime call or a video FaceTime call, okay? Audio, but no face, still means FaceTime. It's just getting too confusing there, so don't worry about it. But you can make an audio-only FaceTime call or you can make a FaceTime call that includes your smiling face and their smiling face, and you get to chat, and that's great for, believe me, you don't know how many times that I have given this to a grandmother or grandfather, and they have said, oh, I use it all the time to chat with the grandkids, because I'm here in Florida, and they're in Arizona or something like that, or vice versa. So this is how you chat with the grandkids. And you're, you know, if you put the iPhone in the grandkids' hand, they want to talk to grandma because she's using this cool technology. Just giving you a little hint there. So anyway, audio or video, your choice, and whichever one you tap, the call will start right away, okay? By the way, the call quality, when you use the audio-only FaceTime call, is terrific because you're not using the telephone system, you know, you're not going through any telephone wires, you're using just the internet to connect to somebody and the call quality is is significantly and noticeably better than making a telephone call. And I know people say, but it's a cell phone. Yeah, but at some point, even your cell phone call has to go through copper wire or fiber optic cable somewhere to reach its destination, whereas FaceTime can be just internet and I don't want to get into the technology because I don't know it that well. I just know that it's a lot better. Okay, so let me back up a slide here. Now, if you are, by the way, on a phone call with somebody, a real phone call, not a FaceTime call, if you're on a phone call with somebody, you're also going to see over here that you have the ability to change that phone call to a FaceTime call right in the middle of the call, okay? So I pick up the phone, and there's my friend Jane Appleseed, and we're talking, and it's like, oh, let's just do the FaceTime thing. So, you know, I haven't seen you in six months or whatever because we've been cooped up here in the house under quarantine. So you just tap on the FaceTime button there and it will automatically change over to a FaceTime call where you can see and talk to the other person using the camera on your phone and they, you know, nice picture and all that. So anyway, that's the, uh, the one that if you're in the middle of a phone call, you can jump to, okay? So one more thing with my slides here and... Um, this was a text message thing that I was going back and forth with on, with a friend. If you're in the middle of uh, a text messaging back and forth, you can also jump on the phone or a FaceTime call immediately from the text. So maybe my friend 
Gentry here and I are exchanging some text messages and I say, wait a minute, let me jump on the phone for a second here. I want to, you know, talk to you about this. Okay. Up at the top there, you see his name. And if you have their picture, by the way, in your contacts, that would be where it has the little G in the gray circle. That's where their face would be, the picture, right? You've probably seen that before. If you just tap right on that picture or on the bottom where it has the name, you can barely see there's a little bitty arrow pointing to the right there. If you tap on that arrow or that name, you'll get a drop down, just like it shows there. I imagine that I tapped on it, right? It'll drop down and show you that you can make an audio phone call. Again, that's the cell phone phone call. Or you can make a FaceTime call right there. Just tap on it and it will dial out and start to make the FaceTime call. Okay? Very, very cool. So I hope that's helpful with FaceTime calls. By the way, if you're, if you're working on that, you know, uh, for a lot of us, this is now we've got my phone up here. You know, I don't, I don't use the FaceTime thing a lot, but when I do, I find, you know, I like it a lot, but it's like, gee, I wonder where I put it. And somebody always is going to ask me, what if I can't find it? Siri to the rescue, push the button, open FaceTime, and then it starts it up. Now, here's this is live on my phone, and you can see that I, you know, talked to my friend Leslie uh, not too long ago. And if I wanted to call her back, I would just literally tap on the name there, all right, and it would make another phone call. If I wanted to start another one, by the way, from the app itself, remember we already said you could start it from contacts, you can start it from a regular phone call, you can start it from a text message. But if you go to the FaceTime app, how do I start a new call? Tap on the plus button up in there in the upper right corner, and it's gonna open up where you can just type in your friend's name, or you can use the plus button up there and that will open up your contacts list, and then you can just scroll, 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 find a contact, right, and then tap on that contact name, and if it's available, if that person has a Facebook, or excuse me, has an iPhone or an iPad, then you'll be able to make the video call there, okay? But either way, you can start a FaceTime call several different ways, okay? For me, the easiest thing is simply to uh, go to their contact because that reminds me if they have an iPhone or not. And if I see that I can make the FaceTime call, I just tap on the FaceTime call right from there. Okay. So I hope that's helped you. I hope that's been helpful with uh, how to get in and out of FaceTime calls. If you have questions or, you know, there's something that I didn't touch on, there's, as always, there's a little bit more to it than that. You know, there's some details. What I've given you will help you get into it and make use of it and all that sort of thing. But anyway, if you, you know, have questions uh, or can think of something that I didn't cover, feel free to get in touch. Leave a comment here if you're watching this live on Facebook or if you're watching it on YouTube or on the blog at BillSkladowski.com. Let's put that up there. You can feel free to stop on by. Now, either way, uh, I would invite you to stop by the blog so that you can sign yourself up for the uh, weekly newsletter. Just go to the homepage there at BillSkladowski.com and right on the front page, tap on the uh, click me button there. Just uh, all it needs is an email, no other information like that. And then every weekend you get our weekend recap email, which has the links to the two videos from the past week. So this weekend you'll be reminded that, hey, the iPhone Friday was all about FaceTime. And if you want to watch the video, just click here. It'll take you right to it, right on the blog. And also there will be a handout, a classroom handout that uh, I provide to give you more details on how to do exactly what it is we just talked about on the video. So, you know, if you didn't have time to write it all down and, uh, you know, take good notes, you don't have to. Just sign up for the email and you will get them mailed to you, uh, usually every Sunday afternoon is when I send out the email. Okay, that's going to do it for this week. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, next week, we'll be back with another uh, iPhone Friday and also a What's New Wednesday. Apple's coming up on their big announcement. I think it's, in fact, might even be next Wednesday. I don't remember the date there exactly, where they're going to talk about their brand new devices coming out. I hear they're going to have a big announcement for the new iWatch and the new iPads. Don't know if they'll be announcing the new phones or not, but stay tuned for that. We'll talk all about it. So have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next week.